after the serious disappointment of Pete's Congo Kivu, if that's how it's pronounced, it certainly looks how it's spelled, it is explained as a tart cherry, zesty, bright, it's exactly the opposite, with a hint of burnt sugar or something, it is anything but that, it is basically a very crappy, dirty tasting coffee, um, it just, it's weird, it just tastes like Easily the worst piece of coffee I've ever had. So I went out on a limb, saw some random post. I don't even remember where it was, if it was YouTube, if it was Linus Tech Tips forums. I really don't even remember. All I remember is some guy said, I get my coffee from Levanta Roasters. So I went ahead and did it. Here it is. I already brewed it. it smells good. And uh, they actually put your name right on it, which is kind of funny. I got Papu, Pap, Papu New Guinea, and I have no idea if it's going to taste good or not. This is my first cup of joe of Levanta Roasters. Let's see if I like it, because I'm pretty much back to used to the typical uh, Italian roast from um, Pete's, sometimes mixed with the uh, decaf of Major Dickinson. This is full calf too, so. Also guys, if you wanna get some good um, non-stick spray, this avocado uh, stuff works good. Pause the video if you wanna look at it. Got it from Target actually. It cooks a lot different than butter. It doesn't make a lot of racket. So you almost don't know when your food's ready, but it is healthier. They didn't, I don't know if it even explained what this coffee was supposed to taste like, but... I, I use the um, Rich Brew Selection, which I always use. It doesn't have quite as much flavor as Pete's Italian. But it is good. You know, and it probably could be, um, I forgot to add a little bit more of my, uh, <clears throat> my gobby. I forgot that whenever um, I make a full calf, I usually sweeten it a little bit more. It's not acidic. It's not acidic in any way, but, all right, that's better. Now I have the perfect amount of sweetener so I can really get a feel for it. Mm -hmm. It's definitely better than Kangu Kivu, I'll tell you that. You know what it tastes like, guys? I would say it tastes like if you just luckily got a really, really, really good cup of coffee somewhere. Sorry for the moving around, but that's what it tastes like. It tastes like if you just got surprised. It tastes like if you just went, somewhere, went to like some random place. You know what? I wonder if this bagel shop on Maplewood in Jupiter gets this coffee because it tastes a little like it. I'm gonna ask that guy. <clears throat> Do you get Levanta Roasters? Now that I got the sweetener um, down pat, it's it's actually pretty good. I wouldn't say it's uh, on the level of uniqueness of Pete's um, good stuff. Like the last time I got Pete's, they have a they have a New Guinea blend as well, and I believe it's New Guinea Highlands or something. I'm starting to forget. It's been a while. But um, theirs was un very unique and special. But hmm. doesn't taste anything like um, P 
pizza Italian roast. That tastes very, has a very dark bite to it, but it, I like it. This is more of a laid back roast. So, you know, if you like, I mean, it's still strong. Hmm. I did get the dark roast. Like you can get different roasts for each uh, flavor, which is interesting. But here we go. Levanta Roasters. Thank you for supporting Levanta Roasters, a, sm a small family owned and operated business specialized in coffee since the 1970s, actually 75 specifically. If you're not 100% satisfied with your purchase, please contact us at blah, 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 uh, Monday through Friday, nine to five, or via email. And we will work to earn your 100% satisfaction. I don't know what that means. I don't know if they're gonna offer you a different flavor. Um, there's, there you go again with the arms. Uh, feedback is in sh extremely important to us and allows us to build a stronger online reputation. Of course, uh, they need those online reviews. Therefore, we kindly ask you to spend one minute of your time leaving a positive feedback attached with a photo. Photo of what the coffee? I did take a photo actually. Please follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Levanta Coffee and use hashtag Levanta Coffee whenever posting your coffees so we can feature on our website. All right, well maybe I'll maybe I'll go and do that if I could just place for how this tastes. You know what? It's not always fair to judge a coffee right off the bat. Sometimes you got morning breath. Sometimes uh, it's getting better actually. The more I drink, it, the better it is. Just like the one, the one peat I got, I wasn't very happy with it until I got used to it. I think that was the early on in my videos. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Levanta Roasters never order Kangu Kiwi peats, guys. It's horrible. Unless I got a bad batch, man, I don't know. I wish I could get my money back for that. That's the only time I really wish I could have been 100% satisfied. I didn't like it. I didn't make. The, I didn't even make a video on it because of that reason. No. This is some good coffee. Definitely tastes uh, different. Different than anything I've had in a long time. Just tastes like really, really, really good coffee. I don't know if they tell you what it is exactly. It does say dark roast. No, no, it's nothing about really what it is. Small batch specialty coffee roasters. They're based out of New Jersey and what I really like is the shipping was free. So, unlike Pete's, which I have to say Pete's is very, very expensive. Not only do, not only is Pete's expensive, they charge you for shipping. This place was about 12 or 13 bucks, I forget now. Free shipping. And it was shipped quick. Uh, priority. <laughs> Excuse me. So you gotta figure priority shipping is about five bucks. The coffee is really only like five bucks, five six dollar coffee. If they're, you know, if they're gonna make a profit, that it's ridiculous. And if it's this good, every, every, I mean, everybody wins. Yeah, it's good stuff, man. It really does remind me of that guy's coffee, though. And he, he, and he said he switched coffees. Yeah. Wonder if, um, I really do wonder if Mapleside Bagel gets, gets gets this brand with just a different flavor. I got I got a flavor specifically that um, Pete's had as well, which was the uh, New Guinea. So. I wanted to compare those, and they're not quite the same. Pete's has just many more hints of other things going on. It just isn't, it, you know, the, the best that their best just doesn't, it just doesn't taste like coffee. There's other stuff going on. Um, I, I may go back, I'm not sure. Or I may stick with Levanta, I don't know. It's, it, you save a lot of money by going with these guys, honestly. 
and you're guaranteed like at least a nice solid cup. Unlike Pete's where if you want to try something different, you may hate it. Because you're going to get some f crazy flavor and it's going to be flavored. Like the, the blueberry coffee that I got, I did get used to it, but it, it was best when mixed with regular coffee. So like a half a scoop of that and then a half a scoop of that. And then you got yourself a really interesting cup of coffee. Whereas this, maybe maybe the flavors aren't quite as, you know, up front, but at least you can enjoy it. And Anyway, Levant Roasters, guys, try them out. Just Google it, L-A-V-A-N-T-A. -A. Peace out, guys. Until next time.